Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shemel Shai by Shemel Kakodash, Shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video Flame Fire. Is this place, Babylon the Great, or the coming destruction of Babylon the Great? So I typed in Babylon, New ba Babylon the Great, Babylon the Great America. So a bunch of videos came up. And this was the second one, I believe. First or second. It says, is America the New Babylon? Matt Chandler. So this is some Christian-based uh, YouTube page. You got the Jake woman in the middle of it. And Jake woman is fucking clueless. But anyway, I'm going to let you... I, I put it on mute, and I'm gonna let you. Uh, I click the, you know, the subtitles, closed caption. Let me just look at the, uh, and the part of the, uh, the title, flame and fire, is from a list that I put together. I don't know about a month, month and a half ago, maybe. So let me just look at the comments. Because we can see the day approaches when we get delivered. And when we get delivered, this place got to go down by fire. This place got to go down by flames. <clears throat> so this is not the time to uh, drag your feet. And this is the time for every every one of y'all to be, be on fire. I did a show, I did a video rather, concerning diligence, give diligence. Now, upon me doing that show, you had a, a couple of individuals that were kind of kicked out, but they, they have an opportunity to get back in a GMS. If you're in GMS, you're supposed to be on fire. You're supposed to be on, um, you know, maximum overdrive. Any opportunity you get, you're supposed to be pushing this word. So it says here, People are talking about which country is Babylon without realizing that the whole Western world is Babylon. Wrong. We are so interconnected nowadays. Let's say it's specifically America. So let me go to the replies. Right, Jeremiah 51 and 12, your, mo your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations, which, which is the other side, the, the furthest nation or uh, nations is Canada, the U.S., Central and South America, shall be a wilderness. It's Rome, not America. No, because Rome never got, was destroyed as a system completely. Now, there was a fire during the time of, uh, uh, which is, I call him Trump, that's uh, Nero, which he supposedly said, you haven't been studying your Bible, have you? This guy doesn't know what's going on. And let, me, let, me, let me hit him back. America, let me do it this way. America is Babylon. America is Babylon. So let's see, he comes back. Uh, Rome isn't the only city with seven hills. Look up uh, seven hills, Jerusalem. Sometimes of the seven sisters of London. They, they, they don't know. They, they, they don't know. 
they got a clue, but they don't know. They don't have the answer. Lost people never fail to realize, re amaze me when you look at the word city. Uh, how the hell do you come with up with a country a world? Why is everyone so ignorant <laughs> of, of church and world history? There is no excuse uh, for not knowing history is vi vital to your lives. Not everyone becomes an adult guess I guess lost people never fall fail to amaze me when you look at the word city how how the hell do you come up with a country or world it's very easy Let me just get back to them see we beating up Christians now They trying to, you know, make it go away. You know, if they say, no, this is not uh, Babylon. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. Yeah. A city is as big as its citizens say to zens hope I spell that right I'm the lousy speller citizens um i e I E E I is it E I oh, uh, E G Example given I'm in a in US US citizen. America is Babylon the Great. Deal with it. So let's see if this guy comes back. When you look, when you look at the world's, uh, the world's word city, how the hell do you come up with a country or world? A city is as big as its citizens. Uh, E.g., I'm an I'm an U.S. citizen. America is Babylon the Great. Deal with it. Let me see if they're going to come back. Okay. It's easy beating up these Christians.
I live in Babylon, USA. Yeah, it's, it's Babylon, New York. Oh man, a lot of people. We are we are Babylon here in U in USA, combined with Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, Lord have mercy. Lord's not gonna have no mercy. Yes, America, the great Babylon, the the great. So there's people that are waking up, and these are Edomites. These ain't no sip. These are not no church Negroes. Them clowns. Like this coon right here. That's what a nigga do all day in church. I see why Esau can't stand you Negroes, man. I see, I see why. I don't, I, hey, I'm not that mad at Esau. He want to hang you up on a tree because he's doing this stupid shit. Wow, wow, this is a good one. This is a good one. Carlos Lombas, 40, 4891, USA, merchant, businessman. You have to have eyes to see, and he has eyes to see. Let me, let me, let me give him a on point. Okay, is this even a question at the, this point? Not only is Bible, uh, not only is mystery, and that's the Joker. That's the original Joker right there. Not only is Mystery Babylon a place where many languages are spoken and uh, merchants uh, from all over the world go to uh, Jeremiah, woo, Jeremiah 53, may, we, may, we may read that. Is that on the list? It's not, Jeremiah, well I got Jeremiah 51, Jeremiah 50, 50 verse 23, Mystery Babylon is also described as being the hammer uh, over the wee aerial bombardment. They put in wow. You are. One hundred percent correct, correct. It is Revelation simplify, uh, Simplified 20, America, Land of Babylon. So you got a lot of these Edomites that are woken up. Oh, the hindermost part of the nations. That's the West. See, there's Edomites, man. The, the children of this world are wiser in their generation than the children of light. So you got a lot of Edomites that'll tell you, oh yeah, Babylon the Great is America. Oh, we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna be toast. Sad, sad part, pastors in in uh, this country will never talk about this. They've been all uh, bought uh, going against uh, the word of which is true, which is true. 
especially the black church. That's a joke. The black church is a joke. If hey, I don't. I, if you, if I'm, if you a Jake and I get to know you and I know you go to church, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna totally disrespect. I don't want you around me. I'm gonna call the cops on you. <laughs> yes, they tend to shy away from it. Yeah, because they don't. Either they don't know the, the truth or they do know the truth and scared to death. Cause you you ain't you ain't gonna get answers in the church. You may get a few answers in the in the white church, so called white church. Beast of the Sea, British. Ooh, Beast of the Sea, British Empire. Beast of the Land, America Empire. Mystery Babylon, Vatican. Nope, it's a part of it. It's a part of it. I'll give you that much. Give him a thumbs up. Give him a thumbs up. Okay, what do we do? Let me go. How do we get this? Let me do it this way. Let me do it this way. Come on now. Okay, I think I found thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Short answer, yes, absolutely. Literally just said this, laugh out loud, Jeremiah 51 and Revelation 18. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. So, that, so now you understand, you know, why, what is that in Luke? I believe it's also in Matthew, the children of this world, why is it in their generation and the children of light. The children of light are the Israelites. Whether they woke up or not. Israel, an Israelite is a children of light. Washington DC built on five hills, uh, just like Rome. Esau, Esau knows what's up, man. That's why when people come up and roll up on you on the camp that has that knows the scriptures, it's uh, it's always Esau. It's almost always Esau. Sometime another nation, but it's always all Esau. So when you tell them to go to this book and that book, they're familiar with it. A uh, Jake don't know what I've been going to church for fifty five years and don't and and, and uh, you couldn't tell me. You can show me in the scriptures where the book of Obadiah is if your life depended on, upon it. Because all you niggas do is. <laughs> this shit is embarrassing. This shit is embarrassing. And this boneheaded Negro in a suit will tell you, G, G love everybody. G love everybody. G love everybody. Couldn't even say Jesus right. So let's come on now. Ah, he's been watching us Israelites. But I must say he's right. America is Babylon. Let me put a... Let me put it, that's right. That's right. I want to get into these precepts. I'm 
wrong. Rip USA, rest in peace. So you got a lot of these people that are saying that, yes, Babylon is America. They're not church people. They're not black people in church. Wrong. Let me do it this way. Wrong. Wrong. Damn, what did I just do? What the hell is happening? Cancel this. Let me get into these precepts. Anytime you see a comment with a whole bunch of information on it, they're usually wrong. the Roman Catholic Church. Anyway, let's listen to this guy. And we get you the pre I'm getting to the precepts. Fair use, fair use, fair use, even though you don't hear the guy's voice. It says that that's Rome. If it's in in here goes back. Goes back to wonky or janky. Uh, interpretation of revelation if you you're got a b bad lens by which you approach the book you approach the book uh, I'm sorry let me bring this back okay here we go approach the book then the United States is a city on a hill that's about you're reading uh, honestly right this isn't right city on a hill meaning this is the this is like Jerusalem this is the new Jerusalem America's the new Jerusalem reference to Russia or China like this about us like the US is just as much Babylon her culture just as much uh, says you you want all your sensuality satisfied come to me which is the US don't worship Jesus come to me you want comfort read Revelation 18 uh, read uh, 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 Isaiah 47 I said a queen, I shall see 
It said, don't worry, you come to me. Arnold Schwarzenegger said that. He said, you want to live a good life? Come to America. And when I came to America, everything was taken care. I became rich. So come to America. Come to, you know, want you, uh, your best of life. Now you come to me. The lie of Babylon and wherever, because Babylon riding the beast, right, that's the first beast that comes, which is the Roman Empire. They don't even understand that. If you ask them about the first, and she, what the hell is she doing there? What is she doing there? She's sitting there like she got that look. Like she, she first of all, you're wearing pants. Why, why, is she, why are you here? That's the first thing I would have said. Why are you here? Oh, my goodness. Anyway, so it says, why is America not mentioned in Bible prophecy? It is. In code, is the United States Mystery Babylon? It is. The book of Revelations. What, what is a... 304, that's turn around backwards is hope. They call them 304s now. That's code. Uh, prophecy brief uh, is America, Mystery Babylon. Yes, it is. The dangerous women of Babylon, the new world, a uh, religion. Amer is America the uh, Babylon? Is America the Babylon in the Bible? Yeah, this is definitely Babylon, and it's about to be destroyed. Just checking my notifications. Okay, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you some precepts. First precept is Luke seventeen twenty nine. But the same day that light went out of Sodom. It rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. So that's the same way this place is going to go down. You know what I'm going to do? So I don't have to type in anything. Okay, note, notepad. go
2 Thessalonians uh, 1 and 8. I don't remember what these all these precepts say. I'm going to say. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Yeah, and, and to you, a trouble rests with us uh, when Yahweh, Yahweh, when Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels <clears throat> in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High. All you people that fell out, that turned your back on the plow, that went back into the world, all you Edomites, Jakes that never got it, Jakes that never received it, all you Muslims, Christians, all you people, you're gonna. And if you're in America, if you're in this, on this continent called America, the USA, you're gonna die. You're gonna perish in flames. And that obey not the ain't the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai. In flaming fire, taking vengeance. In flaming fire. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction? from the presence of Yahweh and from the glory of his power. That does not mean if you're an Israelite, you're going to wind up in hell forever. That doesn't even apply to the nations. Esau is not going to wind up, the Edomites are not going to wind up in, in hell, and in, in, in eternal hell. You can listen to them clowns if you want to. Job 15.29, I wonder what that says. He shall not be rich, neither shall his substance continue. You know what that's taught. This is the Bible. We got to speak in code. We got to. That's why we got to call these certain women garden tools. We got to call them three o fours. We got to call. We got to say e. So we're speaking in code. So guess what? The scriptures is is uh, spoken in codes. So they said, "Well, where does it say?" The U.S. at? Where does it say Babylon at? They ain't talking about Babylon. This this has already happened during the time of before the after the time of Job, before the Jesus came on the scene. You leave, uh, please, nigga, go down the street. It said, "He shall not be rich, neither shall his substance continue, neither shall he prolong the perfection." And this perfection is his technology. Esau is perfect in his technology. You hop in a car, you know, it it might take you years before that car breaks down. Then you get it fixed, and then you go about your business. You're good for another couple years or so. The reason why cars run is because they're, they're made perfect to, to, to run, to drive. The computer, the computer is perfect, right? This is this is the modern-day Urim and Thorum. Urim and Thorum means... Um, a uh, light, uh, what is it? Light imperfection. Light imperfection. This is the con. This the Most High gave the gave through the Spirit the concept of the Urim and the The World Wide Web is a Urim and Thorum. There, there of upon the so so the the the, the, the priests the, the Levites they had lap they had uh they had laptops man, and they actually saw things. It says, upon the earth, he shall not depart out of, out of darkness. Right, he's in darkness now. He doesn't realize that this, see what, the mistake that this uh, sleepy Joe made, um, he's back and he's saying, he's telling Israel, don't do it, you shouldn't be doing that. And uh, here's, a, here's a smack on the hand. But they do it anyway, and then he comes back and said, but we're with Israel. So that's going to lead them into that destruction, that uttermost, other destruction, them, them people over there in Israel. That's why these devils got to lawyer up. The least of the flock, and we've been saying that a lot, the least of the flock shall draw them out. That's um, Jeremiah 49, and I believe it's Jeremiah, I mean, I'm sorry, Jeremiah 49, 
And I believe it's also in Jeremiah 50, if I'm not mistaken, it's no big deal, but I know it's in Jeremiah 49. The least of the flock shall draw them out. The least of the flock of this is a small country in Palestine of uh, small hats. That's the least of the flock of Esau. That's going to lead the American Edomite into this destruction. But it's not going to, going to happen, so you don't have to worry about it yet until the uh, they introduce the, the MOTB to the whole planet. It said the flame shall dry up his branches and by the breath of, of his mouth shall he go away. There's a song called I've Been Through the Desert on a Horse with No Name. It's so good to be out of the rain. Now, I interpret it to be this guy is in the desert, which is America. And he says it's so good to be out of the rain because the way that these warheads are going to come down is like it's going to rain on them. So you got to get in contact with that, the person that made that song. Matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you a little information. Okay. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. Okay, America. I knew it was America. I knew it was America. I wasn't sure. A horse with no name. And the name of the and the name of the group is America. Let me see if I can go to the lyrics. Okay, these are the lyrics. Full lyrics. On the first part of the journey, I was looking at a, uh, all the life, uh, plants and trees and rocks and things, the sand and hills and r rings. The first thing I met was a fly was a fly with a buzz in the sky with no clouds or heart. The heat was hot and the ground was cool, but the air was full of sound. I've been through a desert on a horse with no name. It's It felt good to be out of the rain. The rain, I interpret it to be the rain of the, of the warheads. In the desert, you can't remember your name. There's not going to be any remembrance of this devil. Job uh, 20. They shall not be renowned. They shall not build cities. Uh, Isaiah uh, 14. Your name, because there ain't no one to give, because there ain't no one for to give you no pain. La, 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 la. After two days in the desert sun, my skin began to turn red. My skin He's an Edomite. <laughs> my skin be be began to turn red. Job thirty and thirty. My skin is black and palmy upon me. So how can how can uh, how can Job be a, uh, a Edomite? When you're in this hot sun, your skin turns red, and if it turns black, that means you're dead. But anyway, you can listen to the song. And like I said, I believe. Oh, released in 1971. When did this? When did the when did this man started going down? Obadiah 1, 1970. This is, when, this is, this is a year after the last Apollo um, rocket launch uh, to the moon or whatever. So these, I don't know if these are Edomites or, or what the case may be, but this, but let me come back over here. Let me come back to images. Now, I don't know if these are... Composite Cabal is going to uh, cover this any day or going away. So this is the album cover, if I'm not mistaken. 
Okay, America, that's the name of the group. A horse with no name. Everyone I met is from California. So these are like hippie. There's another album cover. And like I said, the group is America. Because the original inhabitants of America are the the so-called North American Indians, which is the tribe of Gad and the tribe of uh, Reuben. And these are majestic people. Look at the stoic looks on their faces, you know? Them, these are Israelites, for sure. Here's another one. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. And that's, look, that's, that's America after. And there's not going to be no pools of water. And he's bowed down. So let's come on back. Okay, I got a bunch of precepts. I'm not going to hit all of them. Let's try Job 41 21. Job. Job 41 and 21. His breath kindleth, kindleth coals, and a flame goeth out of his mouth. <laughs> now, it says, His breath kindleth coals, and the flame goeth out of his mouth. The precept should come to immediately to mind is uh is a second Ezra chapter thirteen. Revelation fourteen and eight. Let's see what that says. So this is how we know that this place is going to go out by fire. Revelation 14 and 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, the, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The wine of the wrath of her fornication has nothing to do with the microchip or the mark. You can't equate Revelation 14 and 8 with a Revelation uh, a 13 and 16. Her fornication is her, um, when you look that word up, matter of fact, I'm going to do that. What they do over there, what was that, was it Ghana? Uganda? They were trying to push, they got laws over there in certain African countries that if you were mowed, they either lock you up for life or they kill you. So you had, uh, what's her name, uh, Kamala Harris go over there trying to tell them to change their mind. They say, we ain't changing. So they brought sanctions against them. But those same African countries, they're going to take that. They're going to take the karagma. So let's look up the word fornication. Ultimately, it's adultery. Because in this country, America, you can commit adultery all you want, all day, every day. But another thing is this, 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 bestiality. That's why the system, you got gangs, you got young boys, even girls robbing. The, the script, the, it tells you in, in Deuteronomy, uh, Deuteronomy 21 and 18, if you have a stubborn son. And in this case, a daughter, you got to put... They, they, they mention a son. This is what you do with a son that's lazy, that's stubborn. You you stone him to death. And the reason why they mention do, a daughter is because the, you didn't got rid of the daughter. You didn't gave the daughter. You didn't sold the daughter to another Israelite man. 
And, and if she goes off, he has the right to take, you know, cancel her, cancel her birth certificate, if you know what I mean. See, there's consequences to you not keeping the laws. Come on back. Revelation 14 and 8. I'm going to read a couple of verses down. Doom for the worshipers of the beast. The beast is the beast system. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, which is this system, if you join the military, if you're a doctor, if you're if you work for the government, if you work for it pretty much if you buy and sell, you need that karagma. If you don't know what I mean by the karagma, ask somebody. You know? If you ultimately, and that's the bowing down part, you don't got to physically bow down. All you got to do is ultimately seal the deal is when you take that karagma. So these other major camps got a lot of explaining to do, IUIC and IACPK. And his image, his image is not a picture of Caesar Bogier for these, these dumb bishops, these, these hammerhead black bishops out there. The image is not a picture of Caesar Bourget, you fucking moron, you. And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Literally, literally in the forehead or in the hand. And the mark is karagma. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be taught. It's not talking about hell for you dummies out there. It's not talking about that some Roman Catholic doctrine BS. There's no eternal hell for the soul with fire and brimstone. That's the missiles in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. They're going to be up in the heavens while this place is burning. And before that happens, before one uh, warhead hits, the elect will be beamed up. The salvation's coming out of America. It's not coming out of Africa a uh, Mount Kilimanjaro is not coming out of Japan. Even if now, if there's elect out there, they're gonna be picked up. So when you come across the word salvation in um, the New Testament, it's talking about being saved from this destruction. I'll read a couple more, and then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna close. I'll say Isaiah 33 verse 12. Let's see what that says. And the people shall be, bear me for a minute. And the people shall be as the burnings of lime, as thorns cut up, shall they be burned in the fire. What Ultimately, that's the nuclear fire. Let me try. Let me go to the 10th verse. Now will I rise, saith Yahweh. Now would I be exalted. Now will I lift my lift up myself. Ye shall conceive chaff. Ye shall bring forth stubble. Your breath is fire. Second Ezra 13 and 1 on down. Shall devour you. And the people shall be as the burnings of lime as thorns cut up shall they be burnt in the fire what fire is that talking about the great the great fire i 
Isaiah 54 verse 16. We already know we should know what that is, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to it. There's a movie out came out called Oppenheimer. I didn't get a chance to see the movie. It won all kind of Oscars. And it was centered around an individual by the name of Robert Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. And he came up, you know, he he was a key person to to build those um those bombs. And he cried. If you go to if you go to uh Robert Oppenheimer is, is, is he's all over YouTube where he's crying and he makes a statement, "I am become deaf to destroy your worlds." So when he when he the spirit worked with him to make him come up, build that bomb, which ultimately is um ICBMs, you know the the bombs that's going to be dropped on this place, uh, from Russia. Behold, I have created the Smith, the scientist that blow off the coals in the fire. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, which is the missiles, and I will, and I have created the waste to destroy. So he said, "I am, I am become deaf, the destroyer of worlds." And that was an old in, um, Hindu pro, uh, proverb. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? Give me a second. I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Now I am become deaf to destroy of worlds. Okay, in verse 32, Krishna says, which is a Elamite god, says, or goddess, says the famous line in it, deaf literally translates as world destroying time. And this is it. That's Robert. Now the guy, if you saw the movie Oppenheimer, the actor looked just like this guy. <laughs> he, he looked. He got an Oscar too. Why did Oppenheimer say, "Now I am become deaf to destroy worlds"? I, I, I um, created this science that blow off the coals in the fire, and created a, a the waste to destroy. I'm merely paraphrasing Isaiah, and it. Uh, and it death literally translates as world destroying time. Says uh, Thompson, adding that Oppenheimer's Sanskrit teaching, which goes back to Elam, chose to translate world destroying time. So when he said, I am become death, he said, I am become the man that has the power to destroy the world. As world destroying time as that's a topic right there for you apostle uh ram lab apostle bar world destroying time what does it mean so so let me read on as death a common interpretation its meaning is simple So this is it. I am become deaf, which which is the death, world destroying time, world destroying time. Let's come on back. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get ready to land this plane. Okay, Isaiah. Oh, I love this. I love this here. Yahweh Shai quoted this. I quoted Isaiah. I'm going to close. Isaiah 66, verse 15. For behold, Yahweh will come with fire, 
and with his chariots. Oh, this is not it. Chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his flames with rebuke of fire, uh, rebuke with flame, flames of fire. For by fire and by a sword will the Lord Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Right, this here is talking about the black church. You ain't gonna make it. None of you black churches are gonna make members of the black church is gonna make it. But this is what I really wanted. Okay, the twenty-fourth verse. Let me jump on down to the twenty-fourth verse. Isaiah sixty six verse twenty four and they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have tra transgressed against me, for their worm shall die not. That's that means that the only thing you're gonna die, the only thing that's gonna be alive in you is the worms, is the parasites. Neither shall their fire be quenched. That's talking about Babylon the Great. And they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. So you go to uh, Ezekiel 39, where they we're going to appoint slaves to dig up them bodies and bury them among Gog. Because ain't nobody going to bury nothing in, in America. Remember, Gog, the land of Magog, is going to be the Garden of Eden again. That's going to be part of our lands. Because we're going to hold own the whole planet. Anyway, you got you see the list right there. <clears throat> you can take a snapshot. Got all these precepts. Dealing with flame and fire and the destruction. This is a beautiful one. Second Ezra 13. That's when Yahweh Shai come back in a, a ship. Now in the GNT, was it GNT? Good news translation. It said it say a mountain, it says it comes with a cloud, then it says mountain. So anyway, with that I'm gonna say Shalom. <clears throat>